Symposium. That name looks familiar. I'm a big fan of sort of a, a car that you can haul the family around that's still with So this is what... And also something that I wanted to focus on here is not necessarily look at an older car, but what's a car you could potentially buy that's fairly new, stow it away in a barn for 50 years and see what you have with, you know, on your hands. So this is the new Cadillac CT5 and specifically I wanted to focus on the V version, which is the Blackwing. Uh, 668 horsepower, supercharged motor, uh, 0 to 60 in less than 4 seconds. I mean, it's just a wicked car. and. Six-speed manual transmission the whole night. It, to me, this feels like sort of the last gasp of true, you know, American internal combustion manual transmission power. And that in itself speaks a lot to people's nostalgia. It's something that we want to cling to as, you know, diehard sounds of revving motors and, and burning tires. Uh, I think this is a cool, super cool car for that upward potential. Getting ready to host a little open house here this evening. Just wrapping up our open house here. How you know your friends have good taste. <laughs> Very nice. Wow. From my buddy Jimmy's house, clearly he has, he and his family have good taste in cars. We're gonna check out his newly acquired Sherwood Green Legend GS. Time to head to Barrett Jackson for the day. Ready for this? I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. Got my smart Alex shirt on. Yeah, he does. <laughs> All right, welcome to the heart of the action. We're entering uh, Westworld here in Scottsdale to take a breeze through 2023 Barrett Jackson. Update on the 1963 Chevy C10 custom pickup. It does have power wild wood, four piston brakes, classic analog appearing, sharp digital. <laughs> this Fast and Furious recreation Supra sold for $130,000. It's a 1994 twin turbo six speed manual with all the movie correct treatment here on the exterior and interior c8 convertible with four miles on it and one in the wrapping paper that was delivered just like this has never been unsealed <laughs> gonna head outside for a second and see what's cooking out here so this little staging area to the right is where the cars start rolling in just before they cross the auction block. So you can see everything kind of getting prepped and uh, ushered that direction. So um, things are in full force here. There's a little sort of uh, stand here for food. And then out here we have a variety of tents, I think six or seven or eight tents uh, with outside cars as well as a bunch of food vendors, ta uh, taco trucks, and the thrill ride um, attraction that you saw in a prior video. So let's go uh, take a wander through. Nice looking 72 Nova SS here. This old uh, 300 ZX sold for about 30. This is a pretty special car here, a uh, Chevrolet SS, also known in other markets, especially in Australia, as the Holden Commodore. So this one has actually also been rebranded with Holden badges, and I specifically love the color here. 22,000 original miles. Looks like this one has not sold yet, uh, but a six-speed manual transmission and an LS motor make this a really, really awesome uh, 
family car that uh, will move. Always been a fan of these uh, 80s and 90s Ford pickups. This is the uh, bullnose version from 1986. It's an F350 that's been restored. Went for $14,000, but it's a Lariat 4x4 powered by a 7.5 liter 460 V8. Pretty cool pickup. Another cool Chevy is this 2002 Camaro. This is a 35th anniversary edition with 15,000 original miles. It sold for 30K and it's one of 789 convertibles of its kind that were made. So pretty, pretty rare and cool car. Over here we have my friend Leo's uh, Berlina Black on Black NSX sold for 69,000. It's a 91 with only 21,000 miles and a uh, super well-preserved car. Here's an example of the kind of diversity you see at Barrett Jackson. We have a 59 Edsel Ranger next to an 89 Nissan Silvia. Three decades apart, but I can't think of two more very different cars than these two. Completely different sort of target markets. Obviously this is right-hand drive and uh, sold for 23,000 on the Nissan and 12,000 on the Edsel. So seems like a pretty good car for the money. More diversity here. We've got a Lambo next to this massive pink Cadillac. Here's a pretty wild one. This is a 1986 Cherokee, but powered by a Chevrolet LS 5.3 liter LM7 V8. So pretty wild transplant there. But the body on this thing is super clean. Uh, back in the day, my family had a 1988 Cherokee Laredo, same body style. This Supra is going for crazy money. That's a little bit unique. There's an armored 2004 Yukon Denali, 2,800 original miles. I can already tell I'm a fan of this one because of its uh, Back to the Future uh, tribute characteristics. A 1985 SR5 four-wheel drive with the 22 RE 2.4 liter motor. Very, very cool truck for those fans of Back to the Future. This is black and white theme. Look how dark these windows are. All white trim. Very clean older Bronco here. Looks like an 89 custom. 30 grand. I'm going to 
call it a night for today. It's been a long and very awesome experience here at Barrett Jackson, but time to catch the shuttle bus and roll back home. Chris is still in there. He's gonna hang out for maybe another hour or so, but you get to the point in the this point of the day where it's just, you hear that auctioneer's voice over and over, and I'm pretty sure I'll have dreams about it tonight and wake up uh, with it reciting in my head, but super amazing experience. You really can't put into words the energy and sort of atmosphere that you feel in there. It's one thing to watch it on TV. It's a completely different to just uh, be in the heart of all the action. Let's see if we can find my car in this off-site purple lot. That was easy. Two of them. All right, Chris and I are gonna hit the U-Pull and Pay here in Phoenix and see what kind of stuff we can find. Here's our only legend sighting today is the door panel down here, 94 L or LS, Chris, I think it's an LS. Dash isn't bad. Clean one owner. That's why I let it stay on the... Chris's favorite of the day is a 76 Chrysler Cordoba with paperwork and records and window sticker all the way back. Yep. Love it. How much was this? There's oh, no price on there. No price, but we got the options. It's a two-door hardtop V8, 60-40 split bench, torque flight transmission, the Landau vinyl. Ah. So, Eugene loved this Chrysler. But you left your blanket in the back found a uh, badge here from a dealership that no longer exists. This was from my hometown in Utah, 1976, almost 50 years ago, yikes. <laughs> Over at the mechanic today, and I wanted to stop by and see a friend's new project car. So check this thing out. It's a very rare configuration, Canterbury Green, 94 Legend L sedan with a five-speed manual transmission. This is definitely the first I've seen of its kind. It's a California car long term, obviously needs some cosmetics, and uh, apparently has produced some uh, clutch or transmission issues that left it uh, needing some mechanical TLC. So this car is going to get uh, gone through by the folks here at Hanman who are skilled in legends because I've had them work in mine a few times. So there it is, the uh, starting point for David's legend build and uh, lots of great potential here with a very, very rare car.